Welcome to Scoop Canada, your trusted source for the latest news in Canadian politics. Today, we will discuss a pressing issue that has gripped the nation Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's refusal to address dissent within his own caucus and the growing calls for his resignation. Yes, you heard it right. Despite all the mounting criticism and a historic election loss, Trudeau continues to ignore the voices demanding change, displaying what many perceive as an arrogant and dismissive attitude. Not only this, but Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is also facing unprecedented backlash from within his own party. Former BC, Premier Christy Clark has publicly urged Trudeau to step down, a sentiment echoed by several other prominent liberal figures. Clark's call comes in the wake of a devastating by-election defeat in Toronto Saint. Paul's a liberal stronghold for 30 years, which has now fallen into conservative hands, this loss is seen not merely as a political setback, but as a clear message from voters about their dissatisfaction with Trudeau's leadership. The Liberal Party, under Trudeau's leadership, has seen its popularity plummet. Recent polls show the Conservatives holding a commanding 20-point lead over the Liberals. A survey by Abacus revealed that 58% of Canadians have a negative opinion of Trudeau, a stark indicator of the public's discontent. Despite these alarming numbers, Trudeau remains defiant, insisting that the party will move forward under his leadership into the 2025 federal election. Trudeau's handling of economic policies has also come under fire. Critics argue that his government has failed to focus on economic growth and job creation, leading to a decline in the standard of living for many Canadians. Former Premier Christy Clark highlighted the need for the Liberal Party to return to its roots of fostering economic prosperity, a sentiment that resonates with a growing number of Canadians who feel left behind by Trudeau's policies, the internal strife within the Liberal Party is not just about policy disagreements, it is a fundamental question of leadership. Trudeau's refusal to engage with his caucus and address their concerns only exacerbates the situation. His seeming indifference to the party's declining fortunes and the electorate's clear message is seen as a significant part of the problem. As Trudeau continues to sidestep the issue, the calls for his resignation are likely to grow louder. The Liberal Party faces a critical juncture, either they push for a change in leadership and attempt to reconnect with disillusioned voters, or they risk further alienation and potential electoral disaster. Trudeau's current strategy of avoidance and denial only serves to deepen the crisis. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's recent response to a reporter's question about internal dissent within his own party further highlights his dismissive and evasive attitude. When asked about members of his caucus considering leaving, Trudeau deflected, focusing on supposed ongoing conversations with MPs and an unwavering commitment to Canadians. This response, however, fails to address the core issue, the growing discontent within his party and the clear signal from voters demanding change. Conversations that I'm having with uh, MPs directly right across the country, the conversations that we're all having as Liberals uh, are going to continue and we're going to stay focused on Canadians. I can't speak to, uh, to uh, what people in the media are thinking, that's your job, but I can speak to the uh, strength and focus that all Liberals have on delivering for Canadians and that's what we're going to continue to do. The Prime Minister's vague and generalized answer does nothing to quell the concerns of those within his party or the public at large. Instead, it perpetuates the narrative that he is out of touch and unwilling to engage with the pressing issues at hand. Trudeau's refusal to acknowledge the dissatisfaction among his MPs, some of whom are contemplating leaving, underscores a deeper problem of leadership and accountability. Moreover, Trudeau's focus on the strength and focus of the Liberal Party seems increasingly detached from the actual sentiments of many Canadians. Recent polls have shown a significant decline in public support for both Trudeau and the Liberal Party. The Conservatives now hold a commanding lead, with many Canadians expressing a negative opinion of Trudeau's performance as Prime Minister. This growing discontent is not merely a media construct, it is a reflection of genuine frustration among voters who feel that their concerns are being ignored. Before we move further, discover our exclusive collection of mugs, hoodies, and a variety of daily accessories designed for Canada Conservative Party supporters. Show your pride with our conservative-themed products at affordable prices. We enjoy free delivery across Canada. In a disturbing incident in Calgary, Alberta, Kalisan supporters used daggers, swords, and spears to desecrate Indian flags, underlining a growing problem of radicalism in Canada. 
The Khalistan movement, notorious for Canada's deadliest terror attack, has become increasingly aggressive, particularly targeting Indian diplomats whenever they visit Canada. The recent event in Calgary followed a similar protest in Edmonton, where violence erupted between Khalistan supporters and police. This time, however, supporters of India organized a counter-protest, leading to a tense standoff that required police intervention. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's policies have contributed significantly to this chaos. By declaring that Canada has no national identity and encouraging each cultural group to protect its own culture, Trudeau has inadvertently fostered an environment where divisive and violent actions are becoming more common. Instead of promoting unity and integration, Trudeau's approach has led to a fragmentation of Canadian society into warring factions, undermining national cohesion. This situation is a stark reminder of the consequences of Trudeau's leadership and his misguided policies. His reluctance to take a firm stance against radical elements within the country and his failure to promote a cohesive national identity are proving detrimental to Canada's social fabric. The escalating violence and use of religious symbols in political protests are not a sign of strength, but a clear indication of a society in turmoil, desperately in need of effective and decisive leadership. Trudeau's inability to provide this leadership continues to erode Canada's unity and security. Just when you thought Prime Minister Justin Trudeau couldn't get more out of touch, he embarks on a YouTube media tour and it's peak cringe. Instead of addressing pressing national issues, Trudeau opts for awkward online appearances that seem more suited for a teenager than a world leader, I didn't know who the old white guy was on the $5 bill. Wilfred Laurier. Bless you. But what I do have is heart. I want the best possible future for the next generation of Canadians, and I want to do whatever I can in my power to make that a reality. That's commendable. It kind of reminds me of myself. It's probably the chiseled cheekbones and flawless hair. Sure. Listen. Um... The growing disconnect between Trudeau and the everyday realities faced by Canadians is glaringly obvious. From ignoring the calls within his own party to step down, to the chaos caused by Khalistan supporters wielding daggers and swords on the streets of Calgary, Trudeau's priorities seem misplaced. How many more embarrassing stunts will he pull before he realizes that no one is buying it? It's time for Trudeau to step away from the camera and start addressing the real problems facing the nation. This latest stunt, filled with forced enthusiasm and superficial charm, has left many Canadians shaking their heads in disbelief. The growing disconnect between Trudeau and the everyday realities faced by Canadians is glaringly obvious. How many more embarrassing stunts will he pull before he realizes that no one is buying it? It's time for Trudeau to step away from the camera and start addressing the real problems facing the nation. In a desperate bid to reclaim his fading popularity, Trudeau's attempts at engaging with the public have only highlighted his detachment from their concerns. His recent YouTube tour is just the latest in a series of missteps that reveal a leader out of touch with the struggles of everyday Canadians. While Trudeau dances and poses for the camera, Canadians are left wondering when their prime minister will finally take responsibility and address the pressing issues facing the nation. Instead of focusing on substantive policies and solutions, Trudeau's penchant for superficial gestures only adds to the growing disillusionment among voters. Also, take a minute to visit our website, sign the petition demanding Justin Trudeau leave the office immediately, and sign up for our newsletters to get uncensored news in Canadian politics. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Stay informed with Scoop Canada for further updates on this developing story. Subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all the latest news, and join us in demanding integrity and transparency from our leaders. Together, we can hold the Trudeau government accountable and ensure that justice is served for all Canadians.